Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weakling code dense 370. It's an easy one. And in fact, the second problem of this contest is also similar. It's just that the way the input is given is different, right? But overall, the problem statement is same. The crux is same. We'll, we'll come out with a solution that works in both the cases, right? So the problem statement says that there are n teams numbered from 0 to n minus 1 in a tournament. Okay. You're also given a 0 index 2D Boolean matrix grid of size n cross n. Now for all i comma j, if i is not equal to j, then team i is stronger than team j if grid of i comma j is 1, otherwise team j is stronger. Okay. A team will be champion of the tournament if there is no team B that is stronger than team A. Return the team that will be the champion. Okay. Simple. You have n teams. Okay. And for these n teams, because you have n teams, you have n cross n grid. It is something like this. Now you go to a cell. If that cell is 1. Okay. If that cell is 1, what does that mean? So this is row number i. This is column number j. Okay. It means that team number i. Sorry. Yeah. It means that team number i is stronger than team number j if this value is 1. Else, team j is stronger than team i. Simple. That's the only information you are given. What do you have to do? You have to tell the champion of the tournament which team is champion. A team is champion if there is no team that is stronger than this team. Okay. Okay. That is not stronger. Let's see some of the inputs. This is 0100. 0, 0, 0. So, team number 0, team number 1, team number 0, team number 1. What's the values in the grid? It's 0, 1 and 0, 0. Now, obviously, you cannot compare team 0 with team 0, right? So that is why this value is 0, right? It says now nah, i is not equal to j. Similarly, 1, 1 is not valid. Now, what about 0, 1? It says that 0, 1 is 1 here, right? This, this cell value is 1. That means team 0 is stronger than team 1. Great. What about this guy? It is 0. That means team 1 is weaker than team 0. Hence, team 0 is your winner. Simple stuff, right? Let's see this example. Team number 0, team number 1, team number 2, 0, 1, 2. This is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is invalid. This is invalid. This is invalid. Now, let's come here. What about 0 and 1, right? So, it is something like this. 0 is weaker than 1, okay? So, let me do one thing. How, how we can approach this problem? Create a set. What are your valid teams? 0, 1 and 2. Okay. Parallelly, I'll just tell you the intuition. That will make the problem very easy. 0, 1 and 2 are my teams. Okay. Now, 0 and 1. What's the relationship between 0 and 1? Team 1 is stronger. Right. Because the cell value is 0. If the cell value would have been 1, team 0 would have been stronger. Right. This is i. This is j. Right. So, this is 0. That means team 1 is stronger than team 0. Now, a team is champion of the tournament if there is no team stronger than A. So what do we mean? Initially, every team can be my winner. Okay, I don't know which, which team will be my winner. So what I do? As soon as I see a value, it tells me team 1 is stronger than team 0. That means team 0 cannot be champion. Right? Team 0 cannot be champion because at least one team is stronger than team 0, which is team 1. Okay? So what I do? Initially, this is my set. I'll just remove 0. Because 0 now is not a valid team is not a candidate for a champion. Initially it was, but now it is not. Okay. So I remove zero from my set because uh, this guy is zero. Okay. Now again, this is zero. This is two. It means that team zero is stronger than team two. Right. Now in this case, again, my friends, what happened? Team zero has a, has at least one team stronger than itself. So that means team two cannot be a champion. That's for sure. Remove two as well from the set. Okay, now let's keep on traversing the array. This is 1, this is 0. It means that 1 is stronger than 0. So again, remove 0. Though it is already removed, but why to add those checks, right? Try to remove 0. Then 1, 1, not a valid combination. What about 1, 2? 1 is stronger than 2. So remove 2. Though it is removed, but still, you remove it, right? Then this is 2. Team number 2 is stronger than team number 0. Remove 0. Team number 2 is stronger than team 1. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Team number two is weaker than team zero. Okay, because this is zero, right? So it, you remove two from here. Similarly, team team number two is weaker than team one. So you remove two from here. And then finally, this combination is not valid. So just see, in your set, finally, you just have one value that is one. It means that there was no team in this configuration which was stronger than one. 
and what happens finally one will be your answer right parallelly i was just telling you how to approach this problem right and see one is your answer right so we'll we'll use the same approach in the second problem as well right so let's go with the implementation because again this is sort of a um, in cross m based implementation right you have to travel each cell right so while traveling you are doing a big of one operation which operation removal of an element if it is present so since we are taking a set if it's not present no action will be taken so no need to worry just see these are the number of teams i have and this is the set i was talking about right so initially all all the teams are your candidates so you are, you add all the teams in your set now what do you do you start reversing the grid if i is not equals to j that means now it is a valid combination right so acha why do we need this check just think why do we need this check let me tell you suppose let's talk about the champion in this case champion is team number 1 if you do not add this check what will happen team number 1 and team number 1 when you go here so that means this row number team is weaker than this column number team though it's 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 an invalid statement but it means one is weaker than team one though it is invalid but code wise it will be like this so what will happen you will remove one from your set and hence you'll get you'll be getting wrong answer so always consider the you know this configuration when i is not equals to j and that is why it is given in the problem statement as well right so if grid of i comma j is one that means i i just a second i is stronger than j that means j cannot be my champion so you remove j else i is weaker so you remove i when you do all this what happens you you are left with just a single element so i just take an iterator and i return that uh, let's name the variable champ and you just simply return it right so that's what you do uh, since this is the first problem most of you might have uh, what you have done you have you would have checked for each and every team but yeah the solution that we have discussed we'll just see in the second video that it works for the second question as well where you have a different type of conf uh, what do you call it configuration and even if the constraints are high this guy is going to work right uh, so yeah that's it for this problem i hope you learn something from new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well let me know if you face any issues related to the solution in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye